Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and if you enjoy the content, please leave a like, as it greatly supports the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on future videos like this one, and make sure to watch until the end, you'll be amazed. Times the mass of the sun can experience this dramatic transformation. Throughout their lifetimes, these massive stars are in a continuous battle between gravity pulling inward and the power of fusion pushing outward. When a star depletes its nuclear fuel, gravity emerges victorious. The core of the star collapses under its immense gravity. This collapse of the nucleus occurs remarkably swiftly, in just a fraction of a second, and results in a powerful explosion, a supernova. The outer layers of the star explode in a remarkable display, outshining the entire galaxy for a brief period. What remains of the star may form a dense neutron star or, if it was massive enough, a black hole. But the legacy of the star endures. The explosion disperses the elements formed during the life of the star into space, seeding the cosmos with building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life. When a star undergoes supernova, it's not only a display of light. It's one of the most energetic events in the universe. The quantity of energy released in a supernova explosion is so vast that it's equal to the energy the sun would emit over its entire 10 billion year lifetime. But where does all this energy go? Most of it is carried away by neutrinos, these tiny, nearly massless particles generated in large quantities during a supernova. They travel at almost the speed of light, carrying about 99% of the explosion's energy with them. The remaining energy is emitted as light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation. This includes gamma rays, the most energetic form of light, and X-rays, which are less energetic but still significantly more potent than the light we see. The visible light from a supernova is so intense that it can temporarily eclipse the entire galaxy. This light can be observed at great distances, making supernovae important cosmic beacons for astronomers. Though supernovae are fascinating to observe, they can also present a potential hazard. The immense energy and radiation released in a supernova explosion can have substantial consequences, especially if the supernova is near enough to Earth. One of the main concerns is the impact on our planet's ozone layer. The ozone layer acts as Earth's sunblock, shielding life from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. However, an intense burst of gamma rays from a nearby supernova could damage the ozone layer, heightening the amount of UV radiation that reaches the Earth's surface. This increased UV radiation can lead to elevated rates of skin cancer in humans and other animals and disrupt photosynthesis in plants, potentially disturbing the entire ecosystem. Along with gamma rays, the supernova also emits a flow of high-energy cosmic rays. These particles can further harm the ozone layer and generate streams of secondary particles in the Earth's atmosphere, increasing the radiation exposure on our planet. In our examination of the risks posed by supernovae, there's another intriguing aspect to consider, gravitational waves. These are fluctuations in the structure of space-time triggered by some of the most violent and energetic phenomena in the universe. Albert Einstein anticipated the presence of gravitational waves in 1916 in his general theory of relativity. Einstein's calculations showed that massive accelerating objects, such as a neutron star or a black hole orbiting each other, would distort space-time in a way that would produce ripples in space. And supernovae, with their immense mass and explosive energy, are the primary candidates to generate such waves. When a massive star collapses and explodes, the asymmetry of the explosion can potentially generate gravitational waves propagating through space. These waves will be extremely weak by the time they reach us and will pose no threat to Earth. However, they offer us a new avenue for investigating the universe. Scientists have already commenced detecting these waves with incredibly sensitive instruments, marking the commencement of a new era in gravitational wave astronomy. Fortunately, the likelihood of a supernova exploding close enough to impact Earth is quite low. Nonetheless, comprehending these potential dangers is essential. It serves as a reminder of our interconnection to the cosmos and how events occurring light years away can have repercussions right here on our home planet. As we've witnessed, supernova explosions are potent events that can have extensive consequences. Yet, did you ever imagine that supernovae might have contributed to shaping Earth's past? Scientists have detected indications of past supernovae in the form of iron, 60, a 
a radioactive isotope, in ancient geological strata and Antarctic ice cores. Iron, 60, is not naturally synthesized on Earth but forged by supernovae, indicating that our planet was laced with the remnants of these celestial explosions. One noteworthy event is the plain supernova, which burst forth approximately 2.7 million years ago. Some scientists theorize that this supernova could have affected Earth's climate during the Ice Age, potentially contributing to a period of cooling. There's also a hypothesis that supernovae may be linked to mass extinctions. The proposal is that cosmic rays from nearby supernovae could damage the ozone layer, resulting in elevated ultraviolet radiation on Earth's surface and adversely affecting life, particularly shallow oceanic organisms. Although these theories are still under investigation and debate, they spotlight the potential impact of distant cosmic events on our home planet. It serves as a reminder that we're part of a dynamic and interconnected universe. As we peer out into space, we're gazing not only into the past but also into the future. Stars will continue to be born, exist, and perish, and some will culminate their existence as supernovae. But what awaits supernovae in our Milky Way galaxy? Astronomers estimate that a supernova explosion occurs within the Milky Way on average once every 50 years. Nonetheless, most of these supernovae are not observable from Earth due to dust and gas blocking direct observation. The most recent supernova visible to the naked eye in our galaxy occurred over 400 years ago, recorded by the renowned astronomer Johannes Kepler. However, astronomers are vigilant in observing potential supernova candidates. These include stars such as Betelgeuse in the Orion constellation and Eta Carinae in the Carina constellation. Both massive stars exhibit unusual behavior, prompting astronomers to speculate that they could become supernovae in the near future. On an astronomical timescale, a recent investigation has shed fresh light on the enigmatic behavior of that celestial giant Betelgeuse. This star, renowned for its semi-regular variations, has been the subject of intense scientific inquiry. In the context of a star like Betelgeuse, these changes manifest in brightness or intensity of light. The star doesn't follow. A strict cycle of increasing and decreasing brightness, but rather fluctuates in a predictable, yet not entirely regular manner. Researchers have identified four distinct periods in Betelgeuse's variations, 200, 420, 230, and 185 days. They propose these periods correspond to the pulsation patterns of the star, specifically the radial principal mode and the first, second, and third overtones. This pulsation analysis, which accounts for the complex interaction between pulsation and convection, suggests that Betelgeuse is in the late phase of core carbon combustion. The investigation also examines the previously mentioned phenomenon known as the Great Dimming which caused Betelgeuse's brightness to substantially decrease from December 2019 to February 2020. Researchers suggest that during this period, Betelgeuse's effective temperature decreased by approximately 100 K, potentially resulting in significant mass ejection from the star. This episode sparked a frenzy of observations and analysis aimed at deciphering the mysteries of this distant star. The researchers' conclusions lead to an intriguing hypothesis. Betelgeuse could be the subsequent star in the galaxy to experience supernova. Given the current phase of late carbon burning in the core, its high luminosity, and complex variability, Betelgeuse emerges as a prime candidate for involvement in this exciting celestial event. The study also notes that the star's high rate of rotation as a red supergiant has stimulated discussions regarding its evolution, including the possibility of previous mergers with another star as a source of angular momentum. Nonetheless, it's important to acknowledge that predicting exactly when a star will undergo supernova is extremely challenging because it hinges on numerous factors that aren't fully understood. Even if a star displays indications that it might undergo supernova, it could be millennia or even eons before it actually happens. Nevertheless, when it does occur, it will be a spectacular event. The study of supernovae is critical to our comprehension of the universe. These stellar cataclysms represent not only endpoints but also origins, enriching the cosmos with the elements essential for new stars, planets, and potentially life. As we traverse through the cosmos, we're perpetually reminded of the majesty and enigma of the universe. Supernovae serve as evidence of the life cycle of stars, the formation of elements, and the interconnectedness of the cosmos. 
We've explored their varieties, the hazards they pose, their influence on our past, and what the future might hold. These cosmic events, as destructive as they may be, are also generators. They disperse the universe with the ingredients necessary for fresh stars, planets, and conceivably life. Investigating supernovae isn't solely about comprehending the spectacular events, but also about grasping our position in the universe. They remind us that we're fabricated from stellar material, that we're a component of this vast, dynamic, and perpetually evolving cosmos.